Haha, <laughs> viewer, you are watching my video. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Eric, Eric, Eric. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so don't unsubscribe. I'm sorry. But let me just get started with the video. Okay, I'm sorry. But but like, okay. Uh, as y'all know, I put a post out saying, "Ask me any questions on this post, and I will answer them in the upcoming vid." Let's go. And God damn, bud, look at bud. Oh, actually, we replied. I'm obviously not gonna be able to get every single question answered in this video, but hey, if I don't get to answer your question in this Q and A, I'll definitely try to get you in the next one. I'm sorry. I want to apologize. Anyways, it is now time. It's time to start reading your comments. First question of the day is, how did you come up with the idea of giving these characters voices and making videos? They are so good. Okay, so a lot of y'all already guessed this in like a, some of my other videos, like in the comments. And, uh, but yeah, I, I got my inspiration from a YouTuber that you guys should definitely check out. His name is Sethical. So I like got a lot of inspiration from this man's content. It, it's hilarious. And like, he, he does like a lot of the sketch too, uh, with his... He, he, he had like a whole series actually. And he even had his own little universal characters. And so I was like, dude, what if I like did that, but like with MCOT characters and I could like give them voices and, you know, make them be, be, a, be an asshole to each other. So yeah, that's pretty much where I got my inspiration. The next question is by our boy, the God of Slayers. And it is who was the best cosmic and why did it cause this? Okay, what throws me off is that, like, you, you asked that, like, we, we need an explanation of why Corvus is the second best comic. I mean, he, he, we all know who the fifth best is, and we don't even, you know, you, you guys know who I'm talking about. It's Cosmic Ghostfire to fight me about it. Skip it about that. Next question by Sweeta is, when am I gonna get my six star rogue in vision? Actually, as y'all know, because I got unfired from Kabam HQ, I can actually call Kabam Mike and ask him, you know, for anything I need to. We're that close, man, seriously. Hold on, I, 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 let me see what I can do for you, Sweeta. Why have you called upon me, peasant? Hey, Kabir Mike, what's up, Vohan, my sissy bot? I'm sorry, What the never fuck mind. was that? Uh, uh, you know, you know Sweeta, right? The, the, uh, guy who uses the Kamala Khan and, uh, Yeah, the, I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, you, you know, you, uh, you, <clears throat> uh, would it be cool if you could, like, give him a, a six-star Vogue in, a uh, Vision? Would it be cool if you lost your job? You know what, sir, that's understandable. I, I'm sorry for bothering you. I never, Don't ever I, call my phone yep, again. Right, Nobody yep, likes right. you. See ya. Uh, okay, so, uh, Sweeta, so I think he said yes, just, uh, wait 10 to 20 business days. Next question is by Silver Warrior, and it is who would win in a boxing match between you and Seton? I'm sorry, dude, I don't think you've realized how much Wii Sports I've played in my entire life. I've done Wii Boxing so long. Now, if we're talking about who has a bigger bank account, then obviously he would win, but that's not the point. The, like, uh, the point is, I've defeated this man, Matt, so many times, th th there's just no defeating me. Now, moving on. What is the name of the grocery store next to the restaurant named Candy's? What this question doesn't even make sense. So stupid. There isn't even a grocery store in our town named Candy. No. <laughs> what is the character, MCOC character only, which you imagine to be yourself or yourself to be? And honestly, I would probably compare myself to Mars Morales, like you know the. The black Spider-Man, as shown in the picture above. You know, he likes to dress nice, and I, I, I like to try to dress nice. He had this thing with talking with girls. I have a thing with talking with girls. Except when I do it, they don't want to ever speak to me again. But yeah, I, I, I think I can imagine myself being Miles Morales. I, I think that could, that that, that's, that could be possible. JT Perez asked, "When did you start playing MCOC?" Okay, I'm pretty sure I, I, I got the game in 2017, early 2017, but then I deleted it for some reason. And then I even started. I, I don't know why. I don't remember why. All I remember is that during that time, like uh, during ninth grade, I was I was so depressed. I was depressed, but I did. It was the only thing I had. Everything else was like restricted or blocked. Or, and, and the school blocked everything on the computer. So I, you know, I, I just. I just play, whenever I don't work, I just played MCLC. And I remember like during the summer, like ninth grade, oh, dude, I, I played so much MCLC, man. I, I was like, that was the time when I when I was just playing it every single day, every single hour. I was logging in even though I didn't even need to log in. But yeah, that's kind of like the farthest I remember of playing MCLC. What's a character that you wish was removed from the game? Ugh, but I, I, I always get this question. I, I get this a lot. And, and, and I'm always gonna say Koi. Like, y'all, I, I understand there's more, like, annoying defenders and, like, just bullshit mechanic defenders. 
But like y'all y'all gotta understand the the amount of effort Kabam put in to make Koig the, the 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 most painful defender to go up against is insane. Like like now obviously there's there's way more counters to Koig than there were before. So like nowadays he's not that big of a deal. I mean he's still like a, a very painful defender if you don't have the counters. And there, there's a lot more counters nowadays than there were before. But I just remember that, that like. During 2017, that was the year that Th uh, Thor Ragnarok came out, which is the year Korg came out. And there was literally no one that could counter him effectively at all. Like, if there was someone who could counter his stupid ass throwing ability, it, they had like probably no damage. I, I, maybe, maybe like I'm off, but I just remember that I couldn't. I, there was no one in my roster at the time that could do anything against Koig. And because of many people like me did not have that many good counters because, you know, my account was not that, you know, good as it is now, guess where he ended up every single day? Alliance War. Yep, you guessed it. No 23 to be exact in Alliance War. And no one in our alliance had any counters with him either, so we could do it. And I just remember trying to fight him over and over and over and over again in Alliance War, and we would die every single time because we couldn't do anything. And I just sat there and thought, kabam, why would you spend so much time making a character like this? Like, what made you think that the players would enjoy this character in the game? Especially with his, like, pathetic damage, bro. It, 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 was, it, it pissed me off so much. I could go on and on about Korg, but uh, I, I don't want this video to turn to a rant. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next question. Enchanted Apple asked, Did you hear about Sarkon? What the f- Sarkon? What the, f what the hell is that? Some, a gaming chair or some shit? <laughs> Suck on, suck, suck on. So, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Ethan Winters asked, "Are you currently in a relationship?" <laughs> Dude, asking if I'm in a relationship is like asking if I'm ever gonna get a five star mega red. <laughs> The answer is no. What made you want to start creating content? All right, so I knew this. I knew this question was gonna come up soon, of course. So I actually wanted to start doing YouTube uh, a long time ago, and this goes all the way back to like sixth grade. I wasn't a big kid. I, I, I was just a little kid, Scotty. If I had something like that, technology-wise, that was like fun to do, which is what I mostly liked, it was either like blocked or it had a time limit. I right, like yeah, it, 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 all, all I had to bring it down. <laughs> downstairs to my parents every single like night so the only thing i really had was my phone and and, and all, on my laptop and the only thing i could do on those was watch youtube and play roblox it's so all the way back in like 2014 when i first you know found out about youtube um i you know i just started watching a bunch of random stuff like like ha ha halo zombies or some shit <laughs> I don't remember. But all I do remember is the first YouTuber that I ever uh, stuck to uh, and like, you know, kept on coming back to the content daily was a YouTuber that goes by the name of Mick Music. Now, if some of y'all watch any like Call of Duty content, then I'm sure you, you've heard of this person. But like for me, I, like, 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 dude, this this man's content, I loved it so much. Like, 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 like it was, it, I, I was addicted to it. And so once I found out about him, I, I, I loved the content. He, like, he was hilarious. And that, so that's, he's like all I watched, <laughs> uh, like, and for the next, like, four years. And because he was so funny, I loved the games he, play, he played. I loved the content that he created. His editing style was awesome. His humor was awesome. I thought about it, and I was just like, dude, I want to do this too. This seems like so much fun. I want to do YouTube. And so because of him, I, I started, you know, I tried to record like some videos, some, keyword some, <laughs> pretty much just like one or two. The reason why I couldn't record that many videos is because like one, I didn't have anything to edit it with, and if I did, it, it was horrible software. Two, I, 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 the stuff that I had, or the equipment that I had, it was not. It was. It was. It was horrible. And honestly, I, I didn't really care that much. I, I. It was only like later on in the year until I realized I. Ne I needed better equipment. I, I just used what I had. Like, bro, I'm telling you, like, like, like the the <laughs> the software that I was using, it was so bad. Like, if if you put in a 10 minute video, it it, 
my laptop with feeds. So I'm actually being serious. Like, like this is totally not a joke at all. Uh, th uh, th here's some actual footage of me trying to edit on my old old laptop. Like, like check it out. Okay. I uh, was gigantic, but you know, you know, never mind. Okay, I don't know. Let me get it. Uh, okay, okay, this new text, they, they can't crash my PC. Uh, what? No. 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 What? Uh, no. What? Uh, no. What? The, what? Uh, I can't do. No. I, I don't. Why is that there? How do I. How do I. Why is that. Why is it sitting down? I didn't even. How did I get a virus? I didn't even download anything. No. 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 But yeah, as you can see, that that's like that's a, totally that's actually real footage of me trying. So you know, luckily, luckily I was able to overcome it. Okay, okay, but, but in all seriousness, like that that's actually when I first became inspired to do YouTube, and I posted like my first videos or two. Onto the next question: Why don't you include any female characters in your videos? Okay, oh my god, yo, so many people ask me this question. The reason is I'm just, uh, the last time I checked, but I, I'm hold on, let me check. Yeah, but I I'm not a female. I wish I was an S tier voice actor, but I simply like like if I tried to do a female voice, it would probably sound like a a a a a, a boy that hasn't hit puberty yet. But I already know what the comments about to be. Um, Big it's Scotty, you you already sound like a boy that hasn't. It's just f shut up, fuck fuck off. But all I'm saying is like like because so many people asked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. <laughs> it probably sounds stupid as shit, but I'm gonna try. Cause I, I do want Ghost and Quake to be in my videos, I, I, in any female character, but like mostly Ghost and Quake because I, I use them and I love them a lot. And I see some people in the comments making like giving me funny ideas to make, uh, well, our stories to make with Ghost and Quake, and and, and I kind of want to do some of them. Okay, so this is gonna be the last question. It's, it's a very uh, complicated question, and you know, it, it's it's probably gonna t take a lot of explaining. And Sweet S asked, What is your name? Man, I already said this in the beginning of the video. You already know who it is. It's your boy. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, a lot of people, you know, they, they call me by the name of Big Scotty. But actually, I'm. B okay, I I'm sorry. I really wanted to do that. <laughs> okay, no, but if you're back to the video, um, I, 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 I'm actually big. Okay, 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 that, that, that's the last one, I, I swear. Okay, yeah, I, I think that's gonna be it for this q and I had so much fun making this and so much fun reading, like, your questions and answering them. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Oh, also, guys, I have a Twitter. I never got to really mention this in any, on, in any of my other videos, so I'm just letting y'all know if I want to, you know, get, like, an update or something, or uh, maybe, like, a heads up on something, you'll be ready. But, yep, yeah, that's gonna be it. Oh shit, I got I got water on my keyboard. But anyways, thank you guys for letting me answer your questions and thank you for watching my video. Uh and thank you for also remembering that Nick Fury is bald. On that note, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Wait, wait, wait.